Do you want to know how to run a successful week-long book launch? Well, if so, stick around. Hey everybody, it's Keith Wheeler here. And previously I've done a video about how to do a book launch the correct way. And in that I talked about very briefly that what you want to do is instead of trying to cram it all in one day, you want to do it over a matter of preferably a week. Didn't really tell you how I did that. So I'm currently launching a book, just launched yesterday. It's called Please Don't Beg. It's for authors and it teaches you how to do, how to get book reviews without begging or sounding desperate. So the first thing I did was I put it on pre-order. Why put it on pre-order? There are multiple reasons, but first of all, this way when I launch it, I'm already starting off with some sales, which means I'm already in Amazon's algorithm. I also had beta readers. What does beta readers do? Beta readers not only help you to make your manuscript as good as it can be, but also when you when your book launches, they can put reviews because I've already read it. Now make sure that when they put the reviews that they state that they got an advanced reader's copy and that they got it in exchange for get, leaving an honest review. Two great reasons. Here's the best reason. Most Amazon categories have a hot new release list. According to Amazon, your book can be on the hot new release list up to 30 days after it actually launched. By doing a pre-release, your book can be on the hot new release longer. I did my pre-release for a month, which means my hot new release list can have my book in it for more than 30 days. It'll actually be probably around 60 days that it could be on there. And the more, it's, the longer it's on there, the better chance of it getting seen. That's how I started it. What I did right off the bat before even launch day. Now, what do I do on launch day? Beforehand, I make a list of all of the different platforms that I have, whether it's Facebook groups I belong to, um, Twitter, email lists, whatever you have, you make a list. And what I do is I actually list how many people are on each of those platforms. So if I have multiple Facebook groups that I'm a part of, I write down how many people are in each of those groups. Then, I, I usually do this in Excel, I will sort by the number of members. And on Monday, I reach out to the ones that have a, a few. Then on Tuesday, I reach out to approximately double that number of people. On Wednesday, I try to double that number of people again. Thursday, I do the same. And Friday is a little different. Friday, yes, I'll do the same. And so, like for example, for this particular launch, I actually have my list up right now I'm looking at. So for Monday, I had a total of 5,363 people, members, that I'm reaching out to. On Tuesday, that list is 11,112, so a little over double. On Wednesday, it's 28,254, again, a little more than double. On Thursday, it's 57,113. And then on Friday, I'm reaching out to 117,000 people and change. In addition, I also have an AMS ad set up to start running on Friday. Now, if you wanna know how to do AMS ads, I have a whole series of videos that you can check out on this channel that tell you exactly from start to finish on how to how to run an AMS ad, how to prep for it, how to understand all the numbers, 
So you can check that out on my channel. And so what that will do by me reaching out to more and more people every single day and not just a small amount more, doubling. Now obviously not everybody's gonna buy it, but by me reaching out to them and, and, and doubling the number of people I reach out to each time, then what it will do is just by playing the the number at the number game that you should get more sales every single day and so when Amazon's algorithm programmatically looks at your sales it sees a constant increase then you kind of round that out by putting doing the AMS ads to make it extend even longer so by Amazon seeing that then they can see that this book is a hot new release it's a hot new book and so what happens is, is Amazon says well then we want to we want to advertise for that book because the bottom line is when you sell books they make money so they want to promote the books that are hot new um, again I have you know the on day one launch I had reviews I actually had a, a bestseller within the first couple hours. What I was the most excited about is the fact that it's my dog is the fact that I had um, I was on the hot new release in every single category that my book is set up in. So if you want to get all the tips, tricks, and hints on how to make indie publishing just a little bit easier then make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out new content so in the meantime remember to write right